Yo, this is Felix from LYNews.com, and I am on the line with Bobby Booms. How are you doing, brother? Very good, my friend. Very good. So um, before we begin, um, I know your mindset is kind of similar to mm -hmm. mine when it comes to what the Yankees need to do. Do you see the Yankees going hard this uh uh, yeah, if this guy's available, Granison, uh, Batista, well, McCutcheon, you always talking about. The Bryce Harper thing, you want to happen, but he makes a lot of money, and they're only five and a half out the Nationals. And the Yankees, really, uh, with their luxury tax, are they really going to add that and go over? I doubt that. That's why I, I figure maybe a small guy. But do you think yeah. the Yankees are going to make a team pay the rest of that player's salary if they obtain a player via waiver wire? Yeah, well, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping if they uh, get somebody to get under the luxury, they have to have the other team pay half of the salary. How are they going to get under? They have to. They want Grant Donaldson. They make a lot of money, so they have to at least pay half of it. I, they need to upgrade because that Shane Robinson, he's not an uh, upgrade right now. The way he's hitting, Greg Bird's not hitting. I would like them to get an outfielder and a first baseman, but they're lucky they'll just get one guy. I think if the Yankees get a player like Donaldson, they'll plug him at first base. Yeah, they could try him out there, DH mostly, but then Greg Bird's going to want to play every day, so they're going to have to uh, try to switch them. They have Joe Mauer, Logan Morrison. I wanted Justin Bohr, but I guess the National League had a waiver claim. They claimed him too fast, so the Yankees couldn't get Justin Bohr. But, yeah. but the, uh, the good thing is, though, there's so many players out there that the Yankees are going to end up with somebody. Yeah, they yeah Cashman. Uh, just if they don't ask for too much, Granison. I think he'd easily get Grant, but is he really an upgrade? Not really, right? He's hitting for nah, a while. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they need to go um, make yeah. a big splash. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that some All Star caliber type players. There's going to be a lot of them available. So in my opinion, the Yankees are going to end up with an all-star caliber player. Well, they have to do something with uh, the way their offense is. Without Sanchez and Judge with his wrist problem, he could be out a month. Like you said, it, it, I, I, it'll take three, four weeks, but it takes time to heal the bones. And then he has to practice his swinging and all that. It could take uh, September 10th. I wouldn't be surprised he's out. And then he, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think he's going to be out till yeah. uh, the end of August. Yeah, I can see that because it takes time to heal from that. And they don't want to rush them. They they want to make the playoffs. They want to make sure Aaron Judge is healthy. So I think they uh, they need to look at an outfielder. Uh, they have to do some. I a lot of people I'm talking to say that that Cashman is not going to really get top guy, you know, because they're going to ask for too much and the you know, luxury tax. That's what they're mostly worried about. But um, do you think the rotation of CC Tanaka, Sevi, Lynn, no. Hat is that enough? No, well, you can't rely on them. Severino has a look like an ace. He's like a number four starter. CC is getting old. He's 37 years old. Can you really rely on him? Tanaka has an elbow, partially torn an ace elbow. You know, he's been good to other starts, but I don't. They're up and down. J Hap, I like the J Hap trade. I think that's a good trade. I like that. He's very uh, durable, and I like the way he pitched at lefty in Yankee Stadium. But of course, they, I would love to have another uh, ace. Swerves, of course. But it's not available. You know, he makes a lot of money. Matt Harvey's not really an upgrade. The Mets are not trading to Grom. So what is there really to get? You know? Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Talking about Seve, I think Seve's great, right? But mm -hmm. people call him a nace, but we haven't mm -hmm. seen, let's say, no. him pitch that many seasons to call him a nace. Sure, he's a great pitcher. Yeah, but do true. we trust uh, Seve for a one-game playoff? What do you think? Well, you remember, remember last year uh, against the Minnesota Twins, he, he gave up three runs in that one inning, and then he, they were out of it. And they're lucky they came back. You know, he could be good. He could be bad. A one-game wild card, anything can happen. Oakland, they face Oakland. Who knows? He could be good. He could be bad. You don't know. I, I, I think he, um, Oakland is going to, to uh, upgrade. Um, and, but he did already. Uh, yeah, exactly. But um, I think they're going to acquire a big bat come uh, waiver wire. Mm, maybe, yeah. Yeah, the Yankees. I can see the Yankees uh, putting in a claim in on Josh Donaldson to block him from the Red Sox. I can see them doing that. They get him away from the other teams, just claim him to block them, and they don't add him. They just block other teams. That's what they do a lot. They yeah, but they're, they they have to obtain a, another bat, and in my opinion, a, another pitcher. Um, the Yankees adding another starting pitcher, I see them adding a contract. 
In your Excuse opinion, me. if a picture like that is available, who do you have in mind? Of course, I'm going to say uh, the top guys, but it's not realistic. Uh, the Yankees have a luxury tax problem. I don't think they're going to add a pitcher. I think they're going to just add a small type guy, uh, outfielder. I wouldn't be surprised they add Granison. Um, I, that's uh, you know I see their payroll right now. It's one seventy something, one ninety seven. So I don't. Uh, it's going to be they have to add on in September. They have to add on to their payroll. I think they only have like ten million. Maybe they can add on. I don't know if they can actually add a top guy. So. Uh, but do you agree with me and Sam and Eddie Source when we say that Cashman? dropped the ball when it came to the deadline. He needed to add another bat or maybe another starting pitcher besides Lynn and Hap, knowing that Judge obviously was going to be missing out for close to over a month. Yeah, of course they had. Yeah, but there's nothing available. There's Harper. I knew the Nationals want to trade him. They're trying to win the division. That Even though they're not going to win it, the Phillies and Braves, they're not going to fight off the Phillies and Braves. But they're trying to win. Harper's a free agent. I knew it wasn't going to happen. And the ground with the Mets, I said in my videos, they're not going to trade the ground the Mets. I was right. So a, a lot of guys I want, but it's not realistic that's going to happen. They had to go with Happ and Lynn because those are the only guys available. They're cheap. They're free agents at the end of the year. And they want to get under the luxury tax. I knew that was their goal. I knew that exactly what they're doing. They, I wish they would add guys, but it's, I knew they were worrying about luxury tax. I knew that. Exactly, but um, the Yankees have a big problem when it comes to left-handed bats in their lineup. Greg Bird is not performing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What guy out there that's a lefty? Do you know any names from the top of your head? Yeah, well, Logan Morrison, Joe Mao, first baseman, DH. They're not. I don't. They're not having great years, but they're low cost guys. They could easily get them. They're not having great years, but back up for Greg Bird. I like Justin Bourne. I didn't get him. Uh, you got Mark Reynolds with the Nationals. You know, there's not many great options. I wanted Mustakis. I really wanted Mustakis, but they didn't want to get him. I guess they they didn't want to give up anything for him. So those, you know. Here's my opinion. I think that the Yankees are going to um, make a big splash just for the fact that um, the Astros beat them to the punch last year. But I think yeah. if they make a big splash, they're going to make the team that's trading the player pay the rest of the salary for this season. That's the only way I can see the Yankees making a big splash. So, yes, in my opinion, if the Nationals become sellers, they have pictures besides Scherzer. They have Geo, et cetera. But the main guy, in my opinion, I know it sounds crazy, but if the Nationals become sellers, I can see the Yankees picking a Max Scherzer just for the fact that he makes $15 million this year. And I can see the Nationals paying the rest of his salary for this year. And I can see them working out a deal where, let's say, the, they eat up 35% of the remaining contract on churches. Yeah, if the Yankees give up top prospects, that's the only way. They're only going to do it if the Yankees give up Sheffield. You're going to give up Sheffield? Are you going to do that? I, I, don't, I don't see them giving up Sheffield, but if it has mm -hmm. to do with a contract, mm -hmm. I think the Yankees can um, get that deal done. Because the Nationals, if they put Max Scherzer on the waiver wire, they're looking to dump his salary. That's the whole point of where yeah. I'm getting at. So. Yeah, well, the Nationals are trying to win, and they're five and a half out. That's why I didn't think they would ever do it. Yeah, they yeah, do. but I'm just saying just if they do it. Oh, okay. Well, of course, I would love Swears, but they had an opportunity four years ago. I wanted them to sign him as a free agent. Yeah, because had, of uh, Jacoby yeah. Ellsbury's contract. Yeah, and they got Ellsbury for that horrible contract. They could have signed a Suarez and then Tanaka, you remember? So, you know. You know, you know but we both agree could... that this rotation, like <laughs> the way it's looking at, looking right now, come playoff time or the playoff push, they can't sustain, like, going up against great teams. Yeah, well, yeah. Boston and Houston right now is a better all-around team. Houston, uh, Boston uh, hitting is better. They're hitting score position. They're hitting run. The Yankees rely on home runs. I can keep saying my videos. They what do you think about players. Marcus Teams? What do you think about him? Eh, so so. I'm not crazy about him as a hitting coach, but who else is really available? Who could they get? Yeah, you know? exactly. That's what they. That's a, It's real. It's really the type of plays they have. They rely on home runs. They're not a speed team. They're all about home runs now. You know, all about sabermetrics, analytics. It's all about numbers now. So they're not all about stealing and hitting and running. It's all about home runs now. So they don't really do that as a team no more. 
it changed over the years. They don't do that anymore. So before we end this conversation, in your opinion, what should the Yankees do to improve, obviously, this ball club? Cashman said they were going all out this season. What moves do you think that are available the Yankees should make? Oh, I would like them to add an outfielder uh, as insurance, just in case if Judge does come back. What about if he does, he's not the same with his wrist problem? I would love them to add, uh, as long as they don't affect their luxury tax, they get under 197, reset the 20% next year, so they go after Machado. Yeah, if they can add anybody and stay under the luxury tax, I would anybody that's reasonable and don't affect anything, I would, yeah, McCutcheon, I don't know if they'll pick up the salary, Granison. Pitching, there's nothing available, so I just I only think they're gonna add a hitter. That's it. We'll see what they do. Maybe Gary Sanchez comes back. He starts hitting. Judge starts hitting. <laughs> <Gary> <laughs> we have to hope. We have to hope. Yeah, but um, I don't see the Yankees at this point signing Machado, just yeah. for the fact that um, Greg Bird, the left-handed bat, he's not hitting. So I can see the Yankees signing a big left-handed bat this offseason instead of Machado. Well, I was hoping they would trade for Jose Abreu and the White Sox to take uh, Bird's place next year. I think Bird's a little overrated. I think he's always injured. You know, he's like Nick Johnson. He's always yeah. hurt. And then when he is healthy, he strikes out a lot. He's two for 20. You know, he can't hit fastballs. Yeah, yeah. He chases a lot of stupid pitches. Yeah, so the I, I, that's my wish list. Patrick Corbin is a free agent. There may be a first baseman. Their bench is very weak. They have to add to that bench. They need more depth. They trade Jury McKinley. That's why the outfield's like this. No depth, no bench. So I, I was afraid of that when they traded Jury for Hap. They'll have no outfielder guys. And Austin, they have no one, no bench. They need to add more guys to this team. And in the offseason, they should add Corbin. They're probably Keiko. They can always trade for Bumgarner. They have all the Sheffield. Maybe they'll bring Sheffield up in September. Yeah. Maybe they'll do that. I think the Yankees at this point, they're not going after Corbin next year no. for the Thing that you mentioned about the luxury tax i know they have more room next year they do, but the yeah. way that um interpreting brian cashman with the moves that he has made i think they're just going to give the shot to sheffield because it looks like the yankees are holding on to those mm -hmm. low contracts and they'd mm -hmm. rather go with somebody like sheffield yeah unless they trade sunny gray in off season and then they add uh, patrick corbin they could do that trade sunny gray it can always add sheffield or they trade sheffield and get a top starter you never knew. Andahar, they could trade. Who the hell knows? They could put Andahar as a DH, put Machado at short or third. Uh, anything's possible they could do this. They have such a good farm system, they could do anything they want. Exactly. But in my opinion, I think the Yankees are one or two players away from winning it all this season. I know. I said, I, I knew they weren't winning this year. I said next year when the better free agents, the luxury tax, they could start spending again. I said 2019 were when they'll win. They have, their pitching would be better. You know, they upgrade their bullpen. Their young guys get more experience in the playoffs. Torres and Andahar get more experience. And then next year, I think another problem with this Yankee team, they need more leadership and chemistry on this team. Without Todd Frazier, they don't have guys like that. They need clubhouse guys. I noticed they don't have a lot of passion. Yeah. When they lost to the Red Sox, they had no passion. They looked dead a lot when they were playing. So, Bobby Booms, um, plug your channel right quick. What do you talk about? Wrestling, Yankees, uh, yes. sports? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's on YouTube, Bobby Boom Entertainment Center Sports Channel. And on Facebook, Bobby Booms 19. And then on uh, Twitter, Bobby Booms 18. We talk about Yankees, trades, analyzing. Not just Yankee baseball in general. I know all my baseball, all the teams, what teams' weaknesses, uh, teams that are going to go to the playoffs, win the divisions, wild cards. In the offseason, we talk basketball, uh, the Knicks, uh, all different teams, all about LeBron James, what's going to happen with the Lakers. We can talk about wrestling, about uh, why wrestling's not the same no more. The marks are taking over wrestling. It's, <laughs> it's I just bought NJPW and Ring of Honor. I'm trying to resell it and make money. It's all about, you know, they don't. it's no stories, no characters no more. Yeah, it's WWE has a uh, monopoly going. Yeah, it's the writers don't know what they're doing. It's, it's getting worse and worse every year. So, any guys subscribe, make sure you check out NYY News and uh, Felix. He does his uh, trades and his little conspiracy trades, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and any. Simonetti. Exactly, Sam and Source. So, in these closing statements, anything else you want to add? No, I just think the Yankees uh, right now, they're a good team. They could be better, but you have to look at the facts and what's available. 
And, you know, the Red Sox, who knows? Red Sox, I still don't think they could beat Houston in the playoffs. The Yankees, in a, you never know. In the playoffs, anything can happen. The Yankees get past Oakland. Then they could go We'll see what they do against the Cleveland Indians. They beat them last year. They went seven games with Houston. We'll see what they do in the playoffs. And we'll see if Houston with Verlander and Garrett Cole, what happens, you know? We'll see if they're good enough to win all in the World Series. Yeah, in my opinion, I think the Red Sox are going to implode. So there you have it, Bobby Booms. Mm -hmm. Check him out on YouTube. It's been a pleasure, bro. Thank you. Enjoy your week. Thank you. You too. Take it easy.